Welcome back to Squawk on the Street. U.S. trade restrictions continuing to make an impact on semiconductor companies such as NVIDIA. The Biden administration is uh, trying to cap China's access to advanced AI chips. But that said, are these curbs too little, too late? Christina Partsinovlis joins us now to explain. Christina. Well, the U.S. Economic and Security Review Commission seems to think so in their 700-page annual report they put out last week. It takes aim at Biden's export controls, arguing Chinese companies can still... 40% of U.S. chip equipment makers like LAM, as well as KLA revenues, came from China. In other words, China is still aggressively buying U.S. chip equipment, even stockpiling. Other examples that question the effectiveness of the export controls, companies like NVIDIA are making workaround chips to keep selling to China despite expanded controls that were just expanded in October. Secondly, Reuters reporting that Chinese internet search engine Baidu is planning to buy AI chips from Huawei made in a Chinese foundry in a shift away from NVIDIA. That shows that homegrown options are improving in China despite U.S. sanctions. If you let certain products technology to go to China, I think there's an under underestimation of how much China has the capabilities to improve on those technologies to basically leapfrog in the United States and achieve results, the exact results that the U.S. government was trying to prevent. Well, the U.S. government aims to prevent the most advanced technology from entering China, affecting names like Intel, AMD, NVIDIA, who all promise limited near-term impact. But experts warn there is a more pressing impact to many of these chip names. If the Chinese economy doesn't get better or improve, actually, that's probably going to be the biggest risk factor to, to U.S. China is nowhere near shutting down, but we are expecting to hear just that from NVIDIA's earnings that are out tomorrow after the bell, given the export controls are a major overhang for that name. Over 20 percent of data center revenues comes from China. Other concerns for the earnings report is supply constraints. We know that there's been uh, some issues getting all of those GPUs, and we want to know when that will subside since it limits revenue upside potential. Gaming is expected to bottom, and that's still considered a, a weakness for NVIDIA. And lastly, management will really have to instill confidence that we are not in an AI peak and that demand will continue into 2024. So, uh, guys, if you're expecting any numbers, boogie, you know, the whisper numbers that come from the buy side, that seems to play a little bit of a role. We're expecting total revenue, $17 billion, uh, Q3 data center revenue, 13.5. And then the guide for Q4, that range, 19 to 19 and a half million dollars. Again, these are the whisper numbers.